Hi, first graders. This is Mrs. Souza. I'm going to teach your math lesson for today. Our math lesson is one or two more. We're going to start by doing some quick images. So I need you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil or your whiteboard and a pen. Pause the video if you need to grab that. Okay, and we're going to do quick images, which means I'm going to share some images on my screen and you are going to draw what you see. And then we're gonna check, so let's do that together. I'm gonna press the clock. It's gonna show you some dots. I want you to draw the dots you see. Ready? Here they are. Okay, make sure to draw them. See if you can match what the card showed. Now let's check. Do you have five dots? Good job. We're gonna do another one, get ready. Okay, draw your dots. Check your dots, did you get four? Let's try one more time. Get ready, here's your dots. Go ahead and draw them. Now let's check. All right, great job on quick images. That was our warm up for today. Now we are going to watch a short video on adding one or two more to a number. One or two more. I am counting on from five. What is one more than five? I can count on from five on the number line to find the answer. I can say five and one more is six. What is two more than five? I can say five and two more is six, seven. I can show one more with cubes. One more than five is six. I can show two more with cubes. Two more than five is seven. I can show one more with an equation. When I add one to five, the total is six. I can also show two more with an equation. When I add two to five, the total is seven. I can show one or two more on the number line with cubes and with equations. Okay, let's try it together. I'm going to write a number. Let's write the number six. Now I'm going to add one more to six. I can find it on my number line, six. And to add one more, I'm gonna move one spot. So one more than six is seven, or six plus one equals seven. Let's try it with two more. I start with six, and this time I want to know two more. This time I'm gonna move twice. One, two, six plus two equals eight. Next, we're going to learn a game that you're going to be playing called One or Two More. Your game board is located in your binder in the math section. To play this game, you need your One or Two More game board. It will be labeled with those words, One or Two More. You need your primary number cards, which you cut out and should be in a bag in your math tool bag and you need some yellow counters or cubes to mark your answers. To play this game, you are going to cover a number on the game board that is one or two more than the number on the card. Let's try it together. Our first number is four. So if I want to add one more than four, I can look down here and see this picture. If I add one more, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. 
So I can cover any five on my board or I can add two more. If I wanna add two more, I'm gonna add one, two, and then count one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can cover any five or any six. I have to decide which one I want to cover. I think I'll cover the corner five right here, okay? Now you're going to draw another card. This time I have the number seven. I can add one or two more to seven. Let's add one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one more would be eight. So I can cover any eight on my board or I can cover two more than seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can cover any nine on my board. I think I'm gonna cover an eight because that gives me two in a row and my object is to cover all of the numbers in one row. You can cover all of the numbers down, all of the numbers across, or all of the numbers diagonal. Okay, so you're gonna play this game on your own today for math. When you're done playing the game, you're going to do some pages in your math book. Let me see if I can get those up for you. Okay, you have page, this is in your math book, you're gonna be doing page 11 first, and that is a mystery box review. We did this in class last week. So you're gonna count the objects from this mystery box and show me how you counted and write how many marbles there all are in all, okay? Remember, we counted in different ways by crossing out, we counted, we put them in groups of five or 10. So choose which way you want to count and show me in a picture or in numbers right here. You're also going to do page 12, which is another mystery box. This time it's cubes, but you're going to do the same thing. You're going to count your cubes, show me how you counted and write how many. Okay, and that's it for today. If you have extra time, you can go on IXL or another math website that's in our Schoology account. Good luck, have fun, thanks for listening.